What's up guys, it's me Jeremy. Riot is pretty much always working on new skins, and at one point there was actually a writer that said that at any given moment in time, it's likely that every champion in the game has a skin in development for them. However, Riot typically never releases anything for almost all of these skins, but today we've compiled some of the leaks, the showcases, and the random goofball things to create a list of 10 skins that could exist in the future. Some are a lot more likely than others, while we have a couple that I would totally bet money on for being released one day. It was a bit difficult to piece this list together, so a decent number of the skins don't actually have too much information surrounding them, but we'll make our best guess. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button, and if you don't, hit that dislike. Let's get started. Our first skin that we have that could be released in the future is Futuristic Caitlyn. Now it's not likely to be under that name if it ever gets released, but a while back at PAX Australia, Riot showcased some of the concept arts and sketches for Caitlyn's skin that was under development. This skin was shown to have somewhat of a futuristic or robotic characteristic, and it looked like the gun maybe shot lasers or something else high tech. This could potentially allude to like maybe a Project Caitlyn or like a Pulsefire Caitlyn, but I'd wager that it's probably something else instead, although I do think those sketches look sweet. Riot Iron Stylus is quoted for saying that this skin is something that they've been wanting to do for a while now, and they're working to see if they can get the right solution for this concept. Another rioter described futuristic Caitlyn as fully possible if the demand was there. So this Caitlyn skin shows some promise, and I for one think that this skin is just awesome. The next skin we have is one of the more likely ones to get released in the future, and it's Battlecast Anivia. The Battlecast series is one of the series of skins that's been going on for quite some time now, of this idea of like Victor creating this upgrade for these champions. So we get Creator Victor, the skin, and a total of 6 Battlecast skins that have been currently released so far. However, when Battlecast Cho'Gath was released, since it was kind of like the launch of the Battlecast skin theme, it had this huge event behind it including like a login screen and some more sophisticated art and teaser pieces. One of those art pieces that was used as a part of the teaser for Battlecast Prime Cho'Gath was this piece of a blueprint for Victor's design. You'll notice that on the left the text says VBC Corp, which likely stands for Victor's Battlecast Corporation. And on the top right there's some text that hints at the future Battlecast projects. There's one for XER Zareth, URG Ergot, SKA Skarner, MAW for Kogma, and one that says ANV, which only could possibly refer to Anivia. And you have to remember that this skin teaser was released quite a bit before the other Battlecast skins, and since it proved accurate for all of the others, and that we were given Battlecast skins for Xerath, Urgot, Skarner, and Kog'Maw, it's reasonable to assume that this trend will continue and will be given Battlecast Anivia in the future. This hint from Riot is one that I would view as pretty reasonable in terms of how realistic it is that it's actually going to happen, and Battlecast Anivia could be totally awesome, so I'm certainly looking forward to that one. The next skin that could be released in the future is Dragon Master Swain. Dragon Master Swain started as a fan-made concept idea that gained an incredible amount of attention just because the idea was so damn cool. There's a forum post that's like 120 pages long or something, of people saying that this idea of a Swain skin, where his bird is a dragon and during his ultimate he turns into a dragon, is just so freaking awesome and it garnered a lot of Riot attention at the time that it was made. Now that post was from 2013, and in it Riot Morello confirmed, and I quote, We will do this skin, I'm sure of that. Those were his exact words, and the excitement around the skin was pretty hyped up. However, a bit later, writers confirmed that the skin was actually shelved, although they did promise to revisit it at a later date. And then again, about 9 months or so ago, on Reddit, a rioter confirmed that they hadn't forgotten about this skin and they were trying their best to get it out in 2015, although they didn't promise anything. Well, 2015 went by, but it's clear that Riot loves this skin and really wants to make it work in the right way. As far as I know, they're still developing it and trying to make this just super awesome badass legendary skin that does him justice, and it's quite likely that we'll see this in 2016, and it's almost certain that we will see it in the future. It's just taking a really long time to develop properly, which means that when it does finally come out, it's going to be just that more awesome. The next skin that has a possibility of being released in the future is Exterminator Twitch. Riot keeps a lot of random information in their game files, and especially in their PBE game files, that allude to all sorts of random stuff, and lots of people like to datamine those files, and every once in a while something pops up. 
Exterminator Twitch has a fully developed in-game model that was extracted from data mining those game files. Exterminator Twitch is a skin that kind of runs with the whole poison theme and takes that and makes him like a bug or like a virus exterminator of some kind. It's a pretty neat idea and works well with his theme. However, this skin is confirmed to be shelved, meaning that it's currently on hold and no longer in production. Shelved definitely does not mean cancelled though, and there's a decent possibility that this skin gets revived and revamped in the future and released as a skin for Twitch. Another skin that could exist in the future is Pizza Delivery Siver. This skin started as kind of like a fan art concept from CLG's Matcom, but the fan art piece garnered such a large amount of attention that Riot actually kind of started developing their own version for the skin. Riot did a live demo for some sketches and model concepts for this skin at PAX Prime a while back, and it seemed to be a popular idea for a skin too. However, it did definitely still need a lot of work. It wasn't concepts that they had on hand that they published, it was they did it on the panel. And the rioters on the panel described the skin as something that they weren't sure about, but could definitely make it a reality if fans were interested in. In which case they would take it back to the office, improve a bit on it, and then hopefully find a place for it in the game. Pizza Delivery Siver is a pretty hilarious idea for a skin, and Riot doesn't make that many funny skins compared to ones that are like cool and badass, but they do still make them. And a Siver throwing pizzas at people for her auto attack is just hilariously awesome, and I would absolutely love to see this skin come to life. Our next skin is Disco Sona. This is a little bit of a weird one. Well, the skin's not weird, but the information we have on it certainly is. One of the game files that exists revolving skins is what's called a texture, and it's essentially a 2D version of the 3D model of the skin that contains everything that the skin's model would. All skins that exist in League of Legends have a texture file to go with them, and Disco Sona has had one of those very texture files extracted from the game files. From this texture, it looks like she's got this pink polka dot dress, as well as what looks like maybe a wooden keyboard for her crescendo, and like a blue and yellow disco ball or something. Disco Sona seems like a reasonable concept for a Sona skin, and these kinds of texture files, although they don't say much about if the skin will be released or not, it does show proof that the skin has had some level of development to them. Maybe they get shelved or cancelled, but maybe they get revamped, tuned up a bit, and released and Disco Sona is one of those skins that shows a lot of potential. The next skin that we have is Arm Cannon Tristana. This one's a little bit goofy, as it's another skin similar to Exterminator Twitch that had its in-game model discovered in the game files. A while back, the files were distracted, and our man Declan from Skin Spotlights was actually able to make a video of him using the skin just kind of like running around like a little goofball. There's no animations showcase, but you can see the model in full. Tristana has kind of like this spacesuit and would shoot bullets from her arm instead of from an actual weapon. Although this skin is likely to have been shelved since the video is kind of old, I wouldn't be surprised to see it revived in the future with a revamped design. And this kind of idea would work great for something like a Pulsefire Tristana, or maybe like a Project Tristana. And just because it's an old model doesn't mean it won't be released later on. There's loads of skins that come out that were in development for years before finally being launched. Sometimes the ideas just require more development, or experience delays, and Arm Cannon Tristana could be one of those skins. Another skin that could be released potentially is Queen Sijuani. This is a skin that emerged from the PBE when Sijuani was given her visual relaunch. We can see the full model available, and in this skin it looks like her boar is actually kind of like a wolf thing, and her flail uses what looks like the blade of an axe. It's a pretty interesting skin that maybe has some potential. The model was extracted from the game files and there's an official Riot comment on it. Although they confirmed that this originally was a skin intended for Sejuani, it instead became the concept that they went off of to give her the look that eventually became her full relaunch. So as of right now, this is the only skin on the entire list that's actually been pretty much confirmed to be cancelled. However, it has a large degree of development surrounding it, and it's not unlikely that this concept for a Sejuani skin of her riding on a wolf is revisited in the future Sejuani skins. We've seen Sejuani riding a boar, a bear, and even a poro, and a wolf would be pretty sweet too, and I see this skin as having enough potential to be revisited in the future. Our next skin is Russian Knight Olaf. This is another one that's a little bit weird because it's another skin that has had the texture file extracted, similar to what Disco Sona had. This texture file for Russian Knight Olaf was extracted from the game files, and it depicts him having like this kind of a viking style armor almost. Olaf as a character is a viking already, but this outfit is a lot more like a traditional viking depiction, or I guess maybe more of like a Russian take on the viking character, hence Russian Knight Olaf. 
That shield definitely looks pretty sweet though with the whole beast kind of thing it's got going on. However, despite this promising piece extracted from the game files, Russian Knight Olaf is confirmed to be shelved. That doesn't mean he's been cancelled, and he could be revisited later in the future, but he certainly isn't in development right now. It's a cool concept, but I do think it shows a little bit less potential than some of the other skins on this list, so I'm not entirely optimistic, but again, it's definitely not impossible that this does get released. And another skin that could be released in the future is Special Forces Misfortune. This skin has had a little bit of information extracted from the game files to show that the files do exist. However, I don't have the exact files to show you, but another thing surrounding Special Forces Misfortune is that she appears in the background as a silhouette in the Special Forces Gangplank skin. A lot of skins have characters in the background as like a teaser kind of thing going on, and quite often a lot of those characters that show up result in a future skin. Special Forces Misfortune could possibly be that. We've got the silhouette from the Gangplank skin, and there's also some info from data mining the game files, and the two of those together make me pretty optimistic about this skin potentially coming to life one day. And that just about wraps up the list. Which one of these skins would you like to see come into the game? Leave a comment, subscribe if you want, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.